Okay, welcome to our second video of four videos for this section 7.4. This is the positive power to a quotient property. So let's understand what's going on. A quotient, answer to a division problem, raised to a positive power, positive exponent, equals the quotient, that division, of each base, those bottom numbers, raised to that power, raised to that same power, raised to that exponent. Okay, so essentially what it is saying is we have three-fifths, three over five, those are our base numbers, we have three and five, raised to the fourth power. This can be rewritten as this, three over five times three over five times three over five times three over five, times three over five. or 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 four times and over 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 four times. So we have a bunch of fives, bunch of threes. This 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that can be rewritten as 3 to the 4th over 5 to the 4th. So technically all of this, this 3 to the 5th to the or 3 fifths to the 4th power, that can also be rewritten as 3 to the power of 4 over 5 to the power of 4. Okay, let's use this property to our advantage and solve a couple of problems. Here is our first problem. 2 to the third power divided by 3 to the second power, and that whole quantity is going to be squared. That whole quotient is going to be squared. So looking at that, we need to essentially <coughs> use the property we're just using. Essentially, we need to distribute this 2 in to both of our base numbers. Our base numbers are 2 and 3 in this case. So in order to do that, it looks like we're going to be doing sort of the powers to a power property as well. We have 2 to the third squared over 3 squared raised to the second power. Power to a power property tells us that we're going to be multiplying these two numbers and these two numbers together. So we have 2 to the 6th power over 3 to the 4th power. Final answer. Now, this is sort of its base. This is how we kind of start it. And then from there, we can do 2 to the 6th power and 3 to the 4th power. And we can actually compute those and we can figure out a more or a bigger answer for that. Next problem. Okay, this next problem. We have a times b to the fourth over c squared times d to the third, and that whole thing, that whole quotient, is raised to the fifth power. So according to our property, we essentially are doing the distributive property in a crazy fashion. So we're, let's first focus on the top. Let's do that work. We have a to the one times 5. I'm saying that because we have this a technically has a 1 power on it. We then have b. This is all multiplied by b to the 4th times 5 over. Now let's focus on our bottom stuff. Let's focus on here. We have c squared times 5 and d to the third times 5. Oops, I almost wrote 3 twice. Times 5. Let's write that better. So all of that information, if we want to simplify it, we know a we can write as a to the fifth power. 1 times 5 is 5. Then we have b to the 4 times 5 power, which is 20. 4 times 5 is 20 over c, 2 times 5 is 10, over d, 3 times 5 is 15. So there's our final answer. I don't see anything. There's no a's on the bottom, or b's on the bottom, or c's on the top, or d's on the top. So this is our final answer for that problem. Last problem. Let's check it out. a to the third times b over a squared times b squared, that whole quotient is raised to the third power. It's all cubed. So conceptually, we are essentially saying a to the third power times b over a squared times b squared. And we're doing that 
three times, okay? So we can write all that out. Not going to do it. Too much work. I'm lazy. So instead, we're going to use that property that we just used, that powers or that positive powers property for division. So here we go. Let's start out. We have the, we essentially have this property is exponents on crack. So we have a, ooh, I wrote that in the wrong color. I wanted to write it in green. We have a to the third power, and we're going to be multiplying that by three. We then have b to the first power, and that's being multiplied by three. We then, on the bottom, we have a squared times three, and we're also going to do b squared times three. So if we do all that work, we essentially have a to the ninth, b to the third, a to the sixth, b to the sixth. Oops, I should have wrote that in purple, b to the sixth. So looking at all that, awesome. It seems like we're done, but sadly we aren't. I see A's on the top and on the bottom, and I see B's on the top and on the bottom. That means we can do some simplification. We can take that very first rule that we learned for the quotient properties, and we can work that out. So we have all of this is equal to A9 minus 6 times B with the powers 3 minus 6. So we end up with the information a to the third times b, oops, I want to write that third in purple, third times b to the negative third. I see that negative exponent. I don't like it so much in the numerator, so we're going to rewrite this so it's in fraction form and we can get rid of that. So we have a to the third over b to the positive third. So we have a cubed over b cubed. Final simplified answer. So that's one way we can do it. Another way we can do it is we can totally simplify things before we actually do all this work. So I'm going to show you that now too. I'm make this a little bit smaller so I can do some more work and I can show it to you over here off to the right hand, or I'll show it to you off to the left hand side. Let's do this. Oops. So we have this problem a to the third times b over a squared times b squared, all raised to the third power. So we have a to the third times b all over a, oops, b squared, or a squared times b squared, all of this raised to the third power. Let's do our simplification first. Let's take care of the stuff inside the parentheses first before we start playing around with that exponent. I see a squared and a to the third, so we can totally rewrite that as saying a to the third minus 2 equals a to the first power. And then we have now b over b squared. That can be re rewritten as b to the first minus 2 equals b to the negative first. So if we have b to the negative first power, we can rewrite that in fraction form as b or 1 over b. So we're going to write b to the first right there. And now we're going to raise that to the third power. So now, distributive property on crack, we all love that. So a to the first is a times, or a to the first times three, and b to the first times three. So we get a to the third over b to the third. And if we look at this, let's look at all of this, we have the same exact answer. Awesome. Well, we should have a three there. Same exact answer. Awesome. Fabulous. Bye.